So our workshop was focused on Belarus, which was particularly a matter of privilege for me to be here because that's a trilateral dialogue between Russia, Germany and Poland as we in Belarus from a small country see big countries talk and we are privileged to be part of it, so I was privileged. We focus on quite a number of issues. First of all, those uh, that explain what kind of uh, political system Belarus has, secondly, what kind of foreign policy Belarus has, and then, of course, we assess all that in terms of uh, the ongoing crisis in Ukraine. And what I liked about the ideas that, you know, were expressed by various participants, and it was interesting that there was no national divide or divide by national lines. It was more about the needs for countries, including Belarus, to start from within which I, I do share very much. I think, uh, of course, the, the system of international relations is becoming more and more chaotic, and the more powerful you are, the uh, more last word you can express. But when you talk about how to become strong from the inside, that's, I think, a way, at least, in the right to think in the right direction. Well, the first work, uh, workshop was about developments in Ukraine, and uh, I think it was very important to discuss these developments with, uh, within this constellation. Russian, Polish and German participants because we are all live in different informational spaces as uh, we have seen and we operate different facts and uh, based on that make different conclusions. So I think it's very important to, um, to, to talk and to exchange ideas and uh, maybe to find some common ground. Um, so it was difficult because we realized that we really operate diff different information, different facts. But um, I think it was interesting to exchange ideas, and I think something left actually in our heads, yeah. The Oxford style debate was about two, well, three question, uh, questions. We addressed climate change, we addressed uh, the referendum uh, in Scotland that is to be held, and we, uh, we also addressed uh, another question, and it was basically to give the participants an idea how to debate, how to discuss with each other politely but maybe also entertaining and convincing so this is kind of the yeah the basic uh, thing you need for such a forum and for conferences and you need to practice this um, and it was very very funny and but also very very good because the participants had very good ideas um, so yeah and uh, then we had a, a discussion on youth unemployment which uh, has youth unemployment has a different meaning for for Russia for Germany for Poland but it's uh, it's also a common problem so it's yeah, common problems some, somehow unite because we need to find a solution and sometimes it, it's really helpful to find solutions um, through uh, getting ideas from other countries. Yeah, and so we had uh, discussions on the situation um, in, in, uh, in Germany, in Poland and Russia and uh, my, for example, the, we were discussing the educational system, should we give the young people more time to uh, decide what to do and is it too early if you have to decide what to study when you are 16 for example in Russia in Germany you, you decide much later when you when you what you will study so this was the discussion the message of uh, a trilateral youth forum um, at, uh, especially nowadays uh, is that you have to continue to talk with each other and uh, to continue to discuss with each other to be honest um, also to uh, to understand that you have more realities, like people from different countries have different realities, have different media sources, different information, and you have to, um, yeah, you have to continue to to talk with each other and also to find a common place. And as we today we played football together, we had fun together, to establish really a relation with each other and to, yeah, to establish a common, um, some common ground. It doesn't always necessarily need to be the same opinion, but a common ground. I think young people are less, less are more open for new ideas, for new information, than people who have established the bold view. Uh, so for, from this perspective, I think it's very important to have these uh, events, because then uh, young people become more open-minded, because they hear, they're exposed to information or to ideas from different countries. So I think it's very important and it shapes maybe their future, yeah, and the way they maybe build their career, the way they uh, try to, to um, behave in the society, yes, uh, if they become more open-minded and also receive information from friends from other countries. So I think uh, these use exchanges are very important. The potential depends exclusively on you, the organizer. So I think if you are going to continue that, it will be a great job for everyone. And uh, so it's the, the responsibility rests with you right now. But I think it's 
if we talk more in general terms about the importance of this, it's clearly growing right now because with all those political things that are now dividing uh, the countries, it is about us, the youth, the products of this uh, post-Cold War generation and generation of globalization, generation of I don't know, Ryanair and the internet, to do everything possible to stop politics from preventing and dividing us. So good luck uh, with this and uh, we would be very happy to join uh, this trilateral forum, transform it into multilateral forum with small countries also participating.